Hey, what's this guy? Hey, what are you, what are you, what's wrong with you? Oh, you got sick? You got injured? You have a broken bone? No, hey, who are you? Doctors, come over here and take a look at this guy. Who is this man supposed to be? My friend, I, I would like to get your name. In case you die, I'm going to send your family a card. Hey everybody, welcome to Falcon Plays Planet Base. We are taking a look at the closed beta version of Planet Base right now. This game is actually slated to come out on October 16th for the general public, meaning it's going to be an end product. This right here is basically the last step of the whole development phase of the game itself. No early access, no updates over time. I'm pretty sure October 16th is going to be the complete product itself. Uh, what Planet Base still entails is essentially a little bit of a mixture of RimWorld meets Banished. So it has like a lot of elements of, you know, the whole otherworldly base building and stuff like that. Instead of talking more about it, let's get into the game and show you what Planet Base is all about, though. Alrighty guys, welcome to Planet Base. In Planet Base you control a group of human pioneers in the not so distant future trying to establish an outpost on a remote planet. Okay. What else you got for me, game? Come on, throw it at me. Camera. Yes, yes. We know about the cameras. WASD, Q to move around. Yeah, it's all fine. There you go. I will actually go through the motions over here because the game wants me to do it, but you know, we'll get into the building here pretty soon. Structures. The top priority after landing is to build some basic structures to keep your people alive. You can build structures using the main menu, simulated in the top left screen. Most structures require metal and bioplastic to be built. You have a limited supply of these in the colony ship. You should be extremely careful when inspending it. First thing to do is to build an oxygen generator, so your colonists can breathe when the oxygen is in their spacesuits run out. So what's really cool about this is you can actually swap over the size of the generator, meaning it'll cost you more resources, but it will actually generate more oxygen. So it's kind of up to you to figure out what's a bit more important to you at the time. Right now, since we just barely crash landed, we don't really have too many supplies, we might want to start small. Now, the game is forcing me to place this right here. This is only for the premise of the tutorial itself, so, you know, don't worry, whenever you play by your own accord, you'll be able to place stuff wherever you feel like. Maybe all the way back there, maybe on top of that mountain back there if you want to, who knows? I'm not your boss, you could do whatever you want. You could place this thing upside down if you wanted to. Actually, I probably don't think you could put it upside down. I don't want to put words into the game's mouth over here. No building upside down, maybe. Anyway, the oxygen generator requires power to operate. Power can be generated with solar panels. All right, so now we need a solar panel, which is going to be located up here. All right, place this bad boy right about here. Uh, so we want to click two of these bad boys and then boom, Konexki. Now, as you will see right now, our people and our little robots over here. Let's zoom in here. Oh, look at these guys. Yeah. Hey, how you guys doing right there? Yeah. Drones, get to work. Stop trying to converse with the humans. You cannot speak human. You are robots. You do not speak our language. Uh, green dudes, I believe, are biologists. That's the reason why they're not over here working. That or they're just lazy. Green dudes are apparently lazy. So we have the oxygen over here up and running. Um, it's going to tell us red, because right now, obviously, there is no connection, so there's absolutely no power. Well, actually, there's no power being generated over here, so obviously we have no oxygen. But we also need to get some water into the generator itself to make oxygen for the rest of us. That's how oxygen works, if I remember my science classes here correctly. It's been ages a long time ago, but still. So that's pretty cool. You can actually place that wherever else you want, and as long as it's connected to the same grid, you will actually power it up. So it doesn't have to be right next to it, per se. But I think the tutorial will make you place it right next to it. No, no, it's all the way over here. So, this right here will be our water source. And now the next thing we need to do is actually connect these two bad boys over here. Boomski. So meanwhile, they work over there. Let's get this airlock up and running. We need this over here. Place this bad boy right about here. And again, we want to do the old connection. Really important. Don't just build stuff and just leave it there. Remember to make those connections, make the whole power grid system. You kind of want like a weird spider web type of thing going on over here. People move stuff around, robot man will actually come over here and build stuff, and get the hallways up and running, my friend. There you go. Excellent. So, now that we have the water generator and the solar power, the oxygen maker will do its job. Make some oxygen for people to walk in there and not, you know, die. Canteen, let's come up here. And this will be where most of your dudes do, like, you know, day-to-day -day things, just hang out, talk about sports uh, in space, you know, the the... The three-headed alien team that beat the two-headed alien team, you know, they felt it was a bit unfair. Well, three heads are better than two. Two heads are better than one, so, I mean, if, it's just basic arithmetic, I, I do suppose. And then we can just power it up over here and speed back up. Canteen has been built. Now, we could actually remove this with tab to get the little overhead thing out of the way so we could actually see what's happening inside, because this could sometimes obstruct your viewing, as you can imagine. Uh, yes. Some structures have components, yeah. And this will be with the tables and the water fountains and all those other things that are going on with it. So, for now, we could just slow it down here a little bit. 
hit tab so we get rid of this roof, and then we can see what's happening inside. So now for the components, you want to click on this bad boy over here, it'll give you another sub-menu. You come down over here and you place some tables wherever you want them. So I'm going to go with maybe back over here because I'm going to place a TV like hanging out over here so they can watch the alien sports that I talked about apparently. We need a water fountain, eh, you know, somewhere at the entrance, you know, when you come in, you look at some water, sit down over here, have a chat. On the way out, you do the same thing again. And then we need some television right about here. There you go. There you go. Don't tell me. I guess I don't do anything nice for you guys. So we need some dorms. And they talked about looking at the status of our people here. So can I click on bad boy over here? We have Gustavo Graves. He's a worker. What about you? Oh, engineer. And what about green guy? Biologist. So basically they are, they have different jobs based on the color of their outfit. So it gives you a good way to actually find out what they need as well. And also what kind of job they actually specialize in. But right now we need that dorm up and running, correct? So let's uh, stop messing around here and get the dorm so these guys get some sleep. If they're tired, they will obviously start slowing down and get really grumpy. And we don't want grumpy colonists over here. So we'll connect these two bad boys. There you go. Let's uh, speed her on up over here. Let's rotate and see what they're watching. What are you guys watching over here? Oh, you're watching the news! 24-hour news. Planet news. That's pretty cool, I never noticed that before. I actually played this off-camera this way, so I never really knew there was anything on the screen. That's pretty cool. Alrighty. <laughs> I'm still learning things as you could probably imagine. Alright, so here's our bedroom, or our sleeping quarters. Let's place some components here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. There you go. Components. Yeah, 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 I know. Get the bed happening. Get the bed happening. Uh, we'll place it back over here, you know? You can just watch people as you take a little bit of a nap. Nobody ambushes you this way. I really hate... I always need to be able to see the door from my bedroom, wherever I'm laying down. I don't know why, it's it's probably weird on my part. But I feel for some reason that if my back is towards the door, somebody's gonna like sneak in and just like, you know, hit me over the head with a billy club or something. I don't know why, I'm not sure why I have such a paranoid thing about my back being to the door of a bedroom, but I just can't do it. So we need to have something to store power overnight. Because, as you can imagine, our solar generator will not work then. So, let's get a battery happening over here. Well, I guess we'll get the wind turbine for the nighttime, right? And for this one, it's telling me to actually up the space, so... Boom. Oh, my lord, that's a really big one. <laughs> that's what she said. Uh, we'll place this over here, and we will do the old connecty-poo. Nice. And then we also need the battery... Or, what do you guys call it? The power collector, right? Well, you know, us humans call them batteries, so, you know, there you go. Places over here, and we can connect this to anything we want. I normally connect it to everything. I like to have this whole spider-like web structure happening here. So now that it's done with, we're gonna go ahead and hit forward. Let these guys get underway over here. I want to find out about Robot Man. Like, what are your needs, Robot? CNT2 Constructor Bot going to airlock. He's in excellent condition right now. So I guess at some point we probably have to build some sort of structure to maintain our robotic friends too, right? Because humans could, you know, eat and, you know, sleep. Oh, speaking of which, they're sleeping. Yeah, you guys are sleeping. Turn around. Turn around here for a second. Turn around here for a second. Oh, they woke up. We have, like, the Mario Brothers over here. Um, they got the whole janitor outfit happening. Vegetable pads over here. And the whole food processing plant. I guess we'll place this one. What do you mean? In a valid location? You're out of your mind, my friend. I placed it where you wanted it. Right there. There you go. Now we connect these two bad boys. All right. Now, once this is up and running, we'll get the components in there happening as well. And let's see. I think the next thing you do after is going to be set up mining. Because obviously, in order to continue building stuff, you need some more resources. There's only so much in your, you know, spaceship that you brought along with you. Hey. Hey. Hey, stop watching the news and come over here and work. If you're so sleepy, go take a... Oh, you can take a nap. Can I add another component right now? Oh, I can't. Ah, oh, come on. It's obvious we need more than, you know, one bunk bed over here. Look, these guys are tired. They're so tired they'd rather watch TV than work, though. I don't blame them. I'd probably do the same thing. That'd be my way of, like, complaining to the management, you know? It's like, I'm tired. You're not gonna give me a break. I'm not gonna work. I'm gonna stand around here and just stare at stuff. All right, so this is up and running now. Let's go into the components, and we will add ourselves some vegetable gardens. What is this one? Tomatoes? Oh, I like tomatoes. Tomatoes, ooh, and garlic. That is garlic, right? Are you garlic? Onion pad! Garlic, onion, listen to this guy. Way to know your vegetables, Falcon. I'm a big fan of onion, though. I know a lot of people aren't because of the smell, but I feel that onion adds a lot of taste to a bunch of foods. Like, if you have, like, uh, sautéed mushrooms with some onion in there. Oh, good God. I love mushrooms, man. So the meal maker has to be done over here as well, and we will be up and running. So, boom, 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 meal maker. 
Uh, let's see. The Mule Maker looks more like a vending machine to me, but that's just my opinion about it. What's kind of weird is that it doesn't let you place it like, I don't want it right here. I mean, it looks like it's blocking the television. Well, I guess we'll place it here so it doesn't block the television. Alrighty. Somebody come over here and build this thing so that we could jump to the next one. I really want to take care of my robotic friend over here. He's not too happy. He needs like a little bit of uh, recollaboration. Collaboration. Recollaboration. <laughs> it's a collaboration. It's like a rap. It's, it's a rap collaboration between Kanye and Jeezy right now. And we're going to do that right now. So, Spaceship, you served us well, but it's time for you to be recycled for goods. Alrighty. Now that you will only be able to recycle... Note that you will only be able to recycle structures if this doesn't isolate any of the existing ones. So, meaning, if um, if I wanted to, like, for instance, take down the oxygen generator, I wouldn't be able to do that because it has connections happening. Maybe that's what it's telling me. I have a feeling that's what it's telling me. So, I have a perfect spot for it right here. As a matter of fact, you know how I know? Because the game is actually going to pick it for me. <laughs> ah, no way I can mess this one up. So we place this over here and connect the poo. Now, if you're wondering, um, Falcon, if you're going to connect this to the airlock, how are people going to get in? Well, don't you worry one processing plant. Well, don't you worry one bit. We'll talk about that soon. The processing plant is the structure where raw materials are processed into refined resources. The metal processor component can generate metal for more. Um, it's not going to be an actual, like, hallway like this, the, you know, oxygen-sustaining one. It's just basically a walkway from the mine to the airlock, so no worries there, just in case you were a little bit worried about it. I think some of you probably were. Dope, dope, dope. Up and running. Mine has been built. Alrighty. You guys have another job over here, though. Is that a pizza you're carrying? <laughs> it looks like a pizza. A mighty big pizza, but a pizza nonetheless. It looks like a Costco pizza. By the way, um, if you guys have Costco around your area... Go to Costco and order their pizza. My God. I'm not sure how Costco, of all places, happens to have, like, better pizzas than, like, Pizza Hut, Domino's, and all those other companies that basically focus on pizzas. Like, their whole business is the pizza business. Costco is, you know, just selling stuff at wholesale prices. You know, big bulk stuff for wholesale prices. Yet, their, their little, um, I guess, cafeteria area has the best pizza of all time. At least, you know, something you could buy regularly cheap. Like, I'm not talking about, like, you know, Chef Ramsay pizzas or anything like that. Anyway, <laughs> enough pizza talk. I'm getting a bit hungry now. Uh, we need to set up the metal processor over here, and we shall. Uh, metal processor, you're going to be coming down through here. Yeah, sure, why not? Place you right there. Let's come over here and add ourselves a little starchy type of area to this. What is this going to be? Straight up starch, right? Rice pad, yeah. Rice is indeed starchy. And we'll place another one over here. We're well, not another rice pad, but the processor for it. And I guess we'll do it right about there, too. Excellent. So this will be for the bioplastic, as they like to call it in this game. Oh, oh, look at this guy. He's brought some ore from the mine. I want to go check that out. Hey, let's get out of here. Yeah, you process that metal, my friend, or that ore into metal anyway. I want to see this happen. Look at this guy. He's bringing something over there. What are you bringing? What are you bringing? Oh, you're probably bringing this to build, huh? Build it already, engineer man. Get to work! No, don't walk away. All oh, the robot's gonna do it? Oh, you would have the robot do the work. So we definitely want to get some of these spares happening for our turbines, because without power, it's basically game over. Now, you, my friend, where do you go? Where do you go? Oh, at this point, the game is actually letting me do it wherever I want. Excellent, thank you. So, I guess we'll probably place it over here. I think that's a pretty good spot for it. So we'll place you... What do you mean, in bad location? Place near an interior struct. Oh, as oh, right, right. So this will tell me, hey, it has to be near an interior structure like this, for instance. I got you. I guess we could do it like right about here. I could now make it bigger if I wanted to, but for now we'll just keep on the regular small size. But we'll place it over here, and we'll give it some connections through here and through here, just because again I love. Oh, it's only one. I wanted it a two. Ah, oh, I wanted an extra hallway. Okay, fine. Should have probably made that closer to here where the recess are at, but whatever. This is getting built now. There he goes. Completely done. Now, we're not done here, though, because we still need to set up the spares workshop. And I guess we'll probably place this bad boy right about here. Seems pretty good for me. But yeah, probably moving this closer to the resources would have been the best bet for this one. I wonder if at some point you can make, like, stockpiles. I have to imagine you probably can. So you could have, like, stockpiles near where you kind of need them for building purposes. I'm not that far ahead myself, so I can't really say yes or no just yet. 
I was thinking of making a big one for the sick bay, but I guess we'll just keep it kind of small for now. So up to here makes sense to me. And we will connect these two bad boys. All right, there you go. I guess it's probably best we keep the sleeping quarter away from the medical facility. You know, especially just like somebody over there coughing up a lung, for instance. You don't want to hear that when you're trying to sleep. It's like, hey, I know you're dying in there from bronchitis, but come on. A guy needs his beauty sleep to mine tomorrow. So, I mean, there is that as well. Look, that's a lot easier when you make it so close to the resources. See, there's got to be some ways to move that around. I'm telling you right now. Alrighty, let's go ahead and make a bed in here as well. Sick bed. Uh, right about here. Just so you have an open view of what's happening out there. If you're really sick and tired or whatever, you need to get some rest. At least you can see what's happening in the hallway and kind of entertain yourself because there's no television in here either. It's like, sorry, the only television I accept is the one in the canteen. Do you have a shot from television over here, by the way? You kind of would if it's, if it's not for this big-ass oxygen generator over here. <laughs> oh, well, you know. Hey, what is it? Do you want to watch TV or have oxygen in the base? One or the other, right? So let's get this um, facility happening. I guess this one could be kind of closer to the medical bay, though, right? Eh, where can I place you, my friend? Mm, I'm not too crazy about having it next to the canteen room. I mean, you're going to be working on some sort of like weird chemicals, and next to the canteen, you're over here eating. Get that smell in there happening. We'll place it over here. All right, yeah, this looks pretty good. Probably not where you produce food from, though. So <laughs> this seems like the connection point that I want. I'm moving further away from the resources. I do realize that, but that's okay, man. Sometimes you have to kind of um, face the integrity of where you're building stuff to um, the layout of your lab. You know, I wouldn't feel comfortable having this next to the canteen where my people eat. All righty, let's get this happening. We need a lab. Maybe right about here. Sounds pretty good. And after this one, we're going to also need to place a medicinal pad. Can I do that now? Probably not. We need the work... The workbench done first, right? Yeah. Wait for everything to be built. <laughs> That's my fifth uh, option here. All right, now that you've done that, wait for it to get built. It's like, oh, okay. Well, I guess. Man, this area is completely stocked up on. Oh, look at our resources, though. Hey, check this out. Oh, nice. So this is basically what's being made from our biologists doing their job over here. Pretty, pretty good. We have starch over here happening, too. He picked it up, and he's taking it over here to produce it into bioplastic. Oh, it's pretty awesome. I like that so much. Alrighty, come on, guys. Let's get the rest of this thing here built. Don't just drop the pizza right there. We have work to do. Once you have enough resources to keep everyone alive, you can build a landing pad to allow more colonists in. Oh, this might be the last portion, guys. No, 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 but we want to have it for the airlock, I'm going to say. Only one place from the landing pad over here. I don't want multiple entrances from the landing pad. You have to go through the airlock, my friend. I'm not even sure what kind of uh, diseases or germs you're bringing into my sanitary habitat over here. It's forward time again. Here comes that guy. He's, he's carrying something for us. I can see that right now. There you go. Hey, what's this guy? Hey, what are you, what are you, what's wrong with you? Oh, you got sick. You got injured. You have a broken bone. No, hey, who are you? Doctors, come over here and take a look at this guy. Who is this man supposed to be? My friend, I, I would like to get your name. In case you die, I'm going to send your family a card. I, I can't select you. I can only select the bed, unfortunately. Okay, well, I'll try to keep an eye on you for next time. It's forward time up over here. Alrighty, landing pad is built. Excellent. Waiting for construction. Note that the new colonists will only arrive if the base is well run. You know all the basics and can start building your own colony? Good luck! I'm on my own now, okay. I think this is where we basically get kicked out and start our own thing. Alrighty guys, we checked it out. We are ready to actually do our own thing now. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up, leave a like, the support does mean a lot. Next time around, we actually start doing our own little thing here. And um, if there's a way to do renames, I might do them. So let's not jump the gun just yet, just an FYI. Let me find out first and then we will probably have a proper naming episode where you guys could drop your name. But um, don't jump the gun yet, let me just find out first. Stick around, leave a thumbs up, I will catch you next time.